Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now more than ever, young people across this country understand the gravity of the issues that we face today as a nation. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to take uh, some time this evening to share a poem that was written by a ninth grade student in Washington State. Uh, this ninth grade student just happens to be my grandson. His name is Caleb Mathena, and he has written a poem. He sent me the poem and said, Papa, what do you think about this? Uh, I didn't know that he was writing this poem, but uh, was pleased to get it and pleased to share it with those who are listening. It's called We the People. We the people of freedom and choice. We elected our main voice, hired to keep our country strong, our right secure and list of options long. Why is it then that this has happened? Why have they disregarded us in this matter, thinking they know what's best and what we need? speeding through without the heed of what we choose and of what we demand, forgetting they are merely hired hands, easily removed, easily replaced. Perhaps that is what's best for these United States, not knowing humility, only selfish ideals, now reacting blindly regardless of how others feel, secretly dealing concealed by closed doors instead of candidly conveying, betraying what was promised before. What has it come to? Has it come to this where we, the people, are just dismissed? As for me, I know that I won't be silent, won't just stand by. I will not watch as my country, our country, is taken. I cannot nor will not sit back. I will not forsake it. If we all stand up and state our thoughts, if we have the courage to secure our rights that our founders painstakingly sought, if we wisely decide who would honestly be truly honest and unselfish leaders for our, our great country, surely then the land in which we live will remain free free for my children's children to admire and see, and say, if my forefathers fought obtaining liberty for me, then I can surely do likewise to the utmost degree. Mr. Speaker, this young man speaks words far beyond his 15 years on this earth. He talks about liberty and freedom. This is the people's house, and sometimes we forget who we re represent. Sometimes we forget who we work for. We work for the people of these United States. We must listen to these words and the words of our constituents. Listen to the words of Caleb Mathena, a 15-year-old student, and all the people and citizens across this country. Listen to the words of our constituents in our districts across the country and respect their wishes to preserve and protect the freedom that has been so bravely fought for by so many. Thank you. I yield back. The gentleman yields back his time. For what purpose does the